Margie McHugh. I'm the co-director of the Migration Policy Institute's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy. And I'm here today to talk about the winners of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prizes Program. This year, the Prizes Program is awarding three $50,000 prizes for exceptional immigrant integration initiatives and one corporate leadership award for exceptional efforts by a corporation to promote immigrant integration. The award winners were selected from a pool of several hundred applicants that were received from across the U.S. Uh, a national advisory board helped us in making the selection of the prize winners, and the prize winners received their awards at the National Immigrant Integration Conference in September. MPI's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy created the prizes program uh, back in 2008 with support from the J.M. Kaplan Fund. We and they wanted to raise up the incredibly important work that's happening all across the country to help immigrants and their children join the mainstream of U.S. society and also to build stronger relationships and stronger communities by bringing immigrants and the native born together. I'm very pleased to be able to introduce one of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prize winners, Californians Together. Californians Together is a statewide coalition comprised of parents, teachers, and a wide range of education experts and civil rights groups out in California uh, that's working to improve the education for all students in California, but particularly for English language learners. Those English language learners are students who arrive in California schools speaking a language other than English and in a sense have to do double the work of other students. They need to learn the English language at the same time that they're completing the curriculum that all other children in their grade are completing. This is an incredible powerhouse and yet at the same time it kind of operates almost on fumes when you look at it financially and that's partly because uh, they're a true coalition. They're bringing together a lot of the, the best of what many uh, other organizations have to offer by bringing to the table uh, so many uh, organizations and individuals that know these issues and are just trying to think and act in a coordinated way to figure out um, policy fixes, but also to really do the actual work of creating the trainings, creating the research, uh, and creating the mobilization that's needed in order to affect these policies in a state as large uh, and as uh, diverse as California is. The leading edge of the work that we and our prizes uh, committee saw throughout our selection process that were most impressive to us were, first of all, the work they've done to create the seal of biliteracy in California, and then also the work that they've done in order to ensure that the new movement to create common core standards uh, in K-12 education, that those standards would have to specifically be linked to the curriculum for English language learners, sure that that incredibly important reform doesn't bypass this huge group of students in California school. The seal of biliteracy recognizes students who graduate speaking two or more languages. It can be either someone who grows up in an English-speaking household who speaks Spanish or someone growing up in a Spanish-speaking household who speaks English as well as Spanish at the time of graduation. It is a very important tool for language preservation in the United States. It's a simple, it's a bold, and it's an appealing policy innovation that promotes academic achievement, it can be seen promoting economic development, and it can be seen as promoting social cohesion. It's not only been adopted by the state of California, but as of July, it has been adopted by the state of New York and the states of Illinois, Oregon, and even Georgia have expressed interest in the seal of biliteracy. For any educators who are watching this, you may actually know Californians together for their work on long-term ELLs. That's not even a, a concept that was really in the literature until a year or so ago when Californians together pioneered uh, research that showed that, that an incredible proportion of young people who were in California's high schools were in fact young people who had never developed academic proficiency in English. In a sense, they appear to have learned English, uh, what, many, what many would consider schoolyard English. They, they had been passed up through the system uh, seeming to be English uh, proficient when in fact they had huge gaps in their academic proficiency in English and those gaps were preventing them from doing grade level work. Not only do Californians together identify 
uh, identify this population, name it, uh, really push for recognition of them on a statewide level, but they created many of the practices in the professional development and the various strategies that need to be used in order to help those young people build their academic English skills so that they can do grade level work uh, in, uh, in English. We are truly delighted to be able to provide one of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prizes to Californians together. Congratulations on your amazing work.